What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here and today we're going to bring you guys a video of the WRT1900 ACS router by Linksys. So let's go ahead and hit that intro as always and we're going to jump right into the unboxing experience which was probably the best unboxing experience of presentation I've ever seen. Stay tuned. Starting of course with one of the most important aspects of a router, we're going to be talking about the frequencies. So this device supports the simultaneous bands of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz up to a maximum speed of AC 1900. That would be 1300 on the 5 gigahertz and 600 megabits per second over on the 2.4. Now under the hood, this thing is sporting a 1.6 gigahertz dual core processor and 512 megabytes of RAM. Now this is a significant upgrade compared to last year's model, which only had a 1.2 gigahertz processor and half the RAM at 256 megabytes. One other key difference between last year's WRT1900AC and this year's WRT1900ACS is the lack of a fan this year. Now taking a look at the ports on the back of the device, this is going to look very similar to every other router on the market with a few key exceptions. So we do have your 4 gigabit ports on the back, but the nice inclusions beside those will be the eSATA as well as the USB 3.0. This will give you either media storage shared across your entire network or shared access to maybe a printer. For antennas, this thing is completely encapsulated by four high performance antennas that also operate on beam forming technology. That allows the router itself to seek out what it's connecting to and make sure that it's actually focusing all of its strength to give you the best and most reliable signal. Not only does this thing have a beautiful user interface, but it's also online, which allows you the opportunity to connect to your router to either protect, monitor, or modify your Wi-Fi at home from anywhere else in the world. Now, if you don't like the user interface or the abilities that Linksys themselves gives you in their user interface and software, this device does allow you the opportunity to put on custom software and is 100% open source ready. Now, honestly, guys, between the actual unboxing experience, the feel and look and the premium finish of the product and the amazing online GUI that Linksys has to offer, this entire package just screams premium. So let's see if that premium feel translates through to the actual performance of the unit and let's see what we get in some test results. All right, so welcome back guys. So I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and learning a little bit about what this router has to offer. Honestly, the unboxing experience of this device is probably the best I've ever had. They've taken a lot of care into making the presentation very, very spectacular and really showing you that not only does it perform as a premium device, but it's packaged as a premium device as well. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. As you can see, we have a positive result with this router compared to the old Hytron, so much so that I actually don't think I need to plug in the uh, range extender that I did the video on a few weeks back. If you've made it this far and haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate a like on this video, as well as a comment, and as always, do not forget to subscribe for some more great content in the future. My name is Dog. you guys have been awesome, We'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.